Stardew Valley 1.6 has introduced 9 new achievements into the game. As we have achieved perfection in 1.5, it is time for us to log back on the game and finish what we started. After buying 3 perfection waivers from the Shady Jojo guy in the mushroom caves, I got 3 very easy achievements by just going to level 120 of the dangerous mines, used 3 galaxy souls to forge an infinity weapon, and just walking into the movie theater. While exploring what's new in the game, I stumbled upon a peculiar cave. Inside were locked masteries, which allow access to crafting recipes and better end game equipment. These masteries can be farmed easily by harvesting ancient fruit. When I'm not harvesting ancient fruit, I collected moss from our tree farm to cook the newly added moss soup. That shit looks disgusting. I also caught myself a cave jelly and its river counterpart. However, my friend and I tried fishing for the sea jelly but to no success, which will soon haunt me later. For now, I continued harvesting the ancient fruit, unlocked the fishing and mining masteries. We also crafted some new items like the bait maker, deluxe bait, the deluxe worm bin, and the sauna bobber to prepare for squid fest in winter. I just lay with harvest of sea jelly. Twelve seconds later. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. For some reason, I fished an unusual number of sea jellies. Oh, oh my yeah, yeah. fucking god! <laughs> Which did not help me at all to fish a total of 10 squids for the grand prize. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did end up with 10 squids, at the time of recording I thought I needed 2 more. When I fished up my final squid, I unfortunately did not have time to collect my rewards. To make things worse, all my hard work has been reset the next festival day. So I wasted no time in regaining my momentum. My friend even gave me a pumpkin suit to speed things up. Initially, I caught way more squid than I have ever imagined, and even reeled myself a golden mystery box. However, that extra luck didn't prevent me me from getting sea jellies. Fuck the sea jelly, dude! Fuck off! Go off! No matter the circumstances, never back down, never give up. With my unwavering determination, I reeled in my 11th squid, and soon enough, my final squid. Fuck the chest, the chest, the chest, the chest, the chest, the chest! 50. Oh my god! Oh my god, I got it! I got it, I got uh, it, I got it. With my narrow yet deserving victory, I obtained the art of crabbing book. And it has the power to double crab pot yields. Similar power books can be found in NPC shops, especially the bookseller who is guaranteed to sell five power books at once. He can also have a randomized chance of selling an even rarer power book. Some of the rare books can be obtained through exploring the town, hidden behind a locked door in the combat guild, and by simply digging up worms in the snow. My hunt for more books would be briefly interrupted by a strong gust of wind in the night. Turns out the big tree right next to Marnie's has been reduced to just a tree stump. We used 100 pieces of hardwood to make it into suitable housing. Jesus, I thought Leo's tree house was bad enough. While waiting for the tenants to arrive, I crafted more items listed above. Out of all of them, the heavy furnace impressed me the most. Just look at how many iridium bars we produced. <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh my gracious. Yeah, this thing's busted. The next day I checked on the tree stump house and found a shivering raccoon right next to it. Man, the divorce do be hitting him hard. The hungry raccoon requested a meal to fill his tummy. After catching some fresh cockles in the ocean and putting a large mouth bass into the fish smoker, I handed the meal items to the raccoon and he repaid me with 25 carrot seeds. Now full of energy, the little rascal needs a mate to stick his seed into. While waiting for for the raccoon to raise up some baddies, I planted some powder melon seeds and the carrot seeds. I also obtained the farming mastery totem and had a look at the statue of blessings crafting recipe. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, let me get You're wrong. Anyway, spring was upon us, in which the raccoon has finally secured a mate. With one more mouth to feed, I needed to work extra to satisfy their hunger. While my friend put five cherries inside the dehydrator, I put a cactus fruit in the preserve jar. The very next day, I picked up the dried cherries and completed the other half of the Ubi Eats delivery. Hungry no more, they rewarded me with the raccoon journal, which grants the power of getting mixed seeds. That's it? 
Additionally, the wife opens up her shop selling newly added seeds. By doing more quests for the raccoon family, their family will rapidly expand. When there are seven babies, an achievement will pop up. Hey, there you go. Nice. While doing the raccoon quest, I fished up a gobby, which is the last fish required for perfection. I also unlocked all the mastery totems in the game and crafted their exclusive items. I planted the seeds and nourished them with fertilizer, which quickly yielded mystic syrup. As the day is blessed with green rain, I collected moss everywhere. With over 160 pieces of moss, I used the moss and mystic syrup collected earlier to craft the blue grass starter and the treasure totem. I then shipped one moss, one mystic syrup, and one of each fresh produce to complete the new shipping collection updated for 1.6. After that, I granted enough prize tickets and obtained the Friendship 101 book, which increases the hearts for friendship and marriage. I also obtained the Book of Mysteries from cracking gold mystery boxes. Reading it increased my chances of finding mystery boxes. At this point, I've read every power book, except the treasure appraisal guide. As I severely dislike the RNG factor of grinding artifact troves, my friend and I have decided to skip days just to wait for the bookseller to show up. During the time skip, we attended the Lao event. Hey, got first place in the Stardew Valley Fair. Hey, we did. Gathered enough moss to craft the Statue of Blessings. Achieved perfection again and reached the summit with my wife. Things change over time, right? Except this motherfucker stalks. Cause the last four times I checked, he doesn't sell the book I want. I'll just cry a river, I guess. Cry harder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> For some odd reason, the townsfolk are against me. There is something frozen here. Yeah, <laughs> I had no choice but to crack those artifact troves. After what seems to be wow. an eternity, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, the bookseller will sell the book after I've got it. Yes, sir. Read, nigga! Read!